Try to show you how I'm putting the chain back on when it flips off. To get it back on without taking your bar nuts off, first I'll take the chain, untangle it, make sure it's on the same side as the bar nuts. I get it to dangle in here. A lot of times it's you end up against something, so you gotta fiddle with it for a second to get it back on there. Put you back on your sprocket. Okay, you wanna hold a little tension up top so it doesn't fall off your sprocket. So the idea of this is gonna be to take the chain, bit it, roll it around the tip and get it to go back on the bar. Let's see if we can see everything. All right, so like I said, you want your chain on the same side of the bar as your bar nuts. You'll start to feed your chain into the top of your bar. A lot of times when your chain comes off, one of the drivers will get bird. So if you have a bird driver, it won't want to sit in your rails and it'll be raised up like that. If you have that, take that part of the chain, roll it around until it's on this part of the chain that is not in your bar. Okay. Looks like my chain's sitting in there pretty good. This takes a little bit of practice at this point, but once you get it, it's pretty nice. Basically, I'll be putting pressure in the middle of the bar to bend the bar. As I do that, you can see it makes slack in this part of the chain, the loose part of the chain that's not in the rail. So as I bend the bar and create that slack, I'll roll the chain up and over the tip of the bar. Um, once it's on the tip, I can basically turn on my saw and hit go, and it should... Uh, go back on there so to roll it over the tip I like to kind of use the, the cradle between my index finger and my thumb and put that behind one of my drivers or one of my cutters like so and that gives me a nice nice grip put the handle in the dirt put my knee in the bar bend it and create that slack and quick roll up and over. Like I said, the top of the bar is what, what you want to make sure is in the rail to start with. You can see I almost got it with one roll. So I'll give it a little bit more. Get that top back in there. Okay. We'll hit go, see what happens. It's back on. I found you could do that with bars down to about 28 inches. Once they're shorter, in 28 inches it starts getting pretty difficult to get the the flex in the bar to be able to give it enough um, slack to roll over the tip but yeah that's the the tip i got for you today lets you leave your bar tool in your pocket and um get your chain back on there so keep on keeping on